June 29th, 1941. As we have seen last week, Army Group North invaded the Baltic states, established a deep bridgehead over the Dvina River and took control of Riga. And this week? <laughs> this week it's a deja vu all over again. This week, the vanguard of Army Group North, the 4th Panzer Group, enters Estonia, crosses the Velikaya River and conquers Boskov. Howdy folks, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new episode slash turn of the Grand Campaign. So, um, you might see right now that I, I had, um, I did leave, let's say, uh, the uh, Recon, uh, let's say, um, set up on, uh, on the map. And that this was uh, not because I, I forgot to remove it, but because uh, it was just a way to show you guys how I like to organize my... Um, missions at least during the early stages of the um, of the campaign uh, regarding the Luftwaffe. Uh, the goal of the Luftwaffe in the early stages of the war is to provide um, recon intelligence for the ground troops and the only recon mission that uh, I would personally advertise to do is the uh, interdiction mission. Uh, interdiction missions, just to quickly recap, is the, the mission that allows you to identify new units uh, when you don't know where they are, basically. And um, <coughs> uh, playing on the impossible difficulty means that the AI can easily teleport um, yeah, essentially all of its units um, all over the map. And uh, because you you never know, again, during the opening phases of, of, the, of the war, uh, where the enemy uh, units are, the recon missions are incredibly useful. Uh, as, I, as I mean, the interdiction missions of your recon planes are incredibly useful. And this, this is also why I highly recommend uh, moving your uh, recon planes at the end of the um, ground movement phase of the first turn, uh, so that they are in range, and that, most importantly, uh, they can be uh, escorted by your uh, fighters, which of course have to be moved as well uh, to the forward uh, air bases. Uh, and then, you know, uh, as, an, as an opening of the second turn, uh, the first thing to do was to um, gain as much control as possible of the pockets that I created on the previous turn. <coughs> And this was done using, on one hand, the uh, security divisions. And, uh, yeah, I, I will say it now, but the goal of the security, security divisions is actually uh, to gain control of access. Um, mostly the, um, the pockets in the, in the north and in the center, as well as um, in, the, in the central sector of, sector of the front, uh, to gain control of the access um, belonging to the Pripyat marshes. Do not even think about sending your infantry divisions down there, um, just to turn those axes. Um, and then, yeah, I, I kept moving the uh, divisions of the 18th Army, and then I noticed one thing, that the AI assembled its troops into two lines, one stretching from uh, the lake in the middle of Estonia, uh, um, eastwards to Peskov, and one stretching from Peskov uh, southeastwards towards, um, I don't know, some kind of, of uh, villages over there. And since, at the beginning of the second turn, I still had plenty of units, I would say, luckily for me, uh, with um, an insane amount of CVPs, I said, hmm, uh, thanks to the, to the recommissions, I spotted more or less where the bulk of the enemy troops were, and so I said, okay, fine, I open a first gap with um, two divisions of the 16th Army. Then I push uh, with, um, with Reinhardt's uh, 41st Motorized Army Corps, to the right, to the left, went, uh, yeah, to, to the left hand side of uh, of Peskov, and then I used the same strategy that I did use for uh, Guderian's second Panzer Group during the first turn to close the pocket from the east, and I basically sent von Manstein's fifty uh, sixth Motorized Army Corps to perform a very wide movement um, around the uh, Soviet line, and I, I took Peskov basically from the east uh, with the uh, 8th uh, Panzer Division. And by doing so, I not only took control of, of, of Peskov, but I also surrounded the enemy troops stationed, uh, say, uh, east 
uh, sorry, west and south of Peskov itself, uh, which turned out to be, uh, I would say, a decent, um, decently sized uh, amount of, uh, of forces. Uh, and then, you know, it's the, the usual stuff, I kept moving up the 16th army, I kept repairing the, uh, the, um, the railways, and I must say I was very lucky in getting uh, several um, uh, hexes, a railway containing hexes already repaired, so that uh, this would have, um, at least I assumed, uh, would have um, significantly um, improved the logistics, at least for Army Group North. And uh, yeah, after having moved the uh, recomplaints and this time also having performed my very first. Um, uh, let's call it the, the air supply operation, I called it a week. And uh, as always, folks, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. I wish you all the best, and I hope to see you all in the next episode, in which we will have a look at the development of Army Group Center.